This video shows you what component bundles are and how to add them in your application pages. A component bundle is a group of components, data controllers, events, properties, and so on, that are combined and configured to provide specific functionality for common use cases, like forms. Rather than having to start from scratch and manually adding and configuring all these elements, you just add a component bundle from the toolbox to your page and change the default configuration as needed. In the Vancouver release, we've delivered the form and split view component bundles. In our example, we want to add a split view component bundle, which displays a list of records on the left and the selected record on the right. We're logged into UI Builder, displaying the empty page we want to add the component bundle to. When we open the toolbox, component bundles display with a highlighted background and a patch icon. We select split view to add it. We're prompted to apply the default configurations to the data resources or configure them manually. We apply the defaults. The components preset is automatically applied and connected to the split view controller. To see what data resources are wired in this bundle, we select show data. Different bundles require different sets of controllers. In this case, there are three, the split view, list, and form controllers. The split view controller is a bit unique because it behaves like a mediator allowing controller-to-controller -controller interactions. In this case, it allows the list and form controllers to work together. Now let's check out the list and form controllers which are connected to the split view controller. Each of them has a controller preset, which is automatically applied when you add the bundle. This relationship between the controllers and controller presets associated to the components enables rendering of the correct data. That is how component bundles give you a head start for adding complex functionality to your UI builder pages. For more information, see our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.